Why? Hello and welcome everybody. Also, good morning. So, sorry I didn't post anything for the upcoming PoE events. I tried Ruthless with Gold and it unfortunately just wasn't for me. So instead of covering some negativity, how about covering some positivity? So today I wanted to go ahead and kind of talk about the newest 0.9 last Epoch patch. Uh, it's been about a year and a half, maybe two years since I have come back. I was a little hesitant on revisiting because the game still is, you know, not fully fleshed out. It's still in early access. And sometimes when you're taking a game and not intentionally comparing it to something like Path of Exile, but that's just kind of what sort of happens because it is an ARPG. With that being said, though, I was simply honestly blown away with um, the new visual update and kind of the fluidity of how everything goes together. So I'm going to go ahead and jump in on my Spellblade. Uh, we played for just about 10, 10 to 11 hours in one stream. Um, so let me go ahead and jump in. Now, I'm going to go into what would be kind of like a like a white tier map in Path of Exile. I'd say it's maybe like a tier 3 map. I'm going to play the character, and then I'm going to explain my leveling process. Do know that before we get really deep into this video, I'm not an expert Last Epoch player. I'm just a guy who loves ARPGs. So if you want to look for more refined, fleshed out versions, go ahead, you know, to your heart's content. Go check them out. People can link you know, guides in my YouTube channel. I'm totally fine with that. Uh, I don't mean any misinformation. This is just kind of like a, hey guys, this is what I'm doing. If you want to follow along, feel free to, and I will min max it as I go. All right. So with that being said, um, this is essentially your like mapping system here. Think of it like synthesis and path of exile, but a lot simpler. So I conquered this section of maps and now we're moving to the higher level version, the 66 one. So I'm going to go ahead and jump in. Now to explain some mechanics of my character, uh, I am a Spellblade, which is kind of like a melee caster. M melee, right? Right again. Uh, my gear is totally kind of garbage. Uh, it's completely random. Like, for example, my weapon is like poison oriented. It literally doesn't do anything for me, except for the fact that it has a insane attack speed roll. Like, that's pretty much what's carrying my, my build to an extent, right? Um, so, essentially, I have this buff called Enchant Weapon. Now, enchant weapon will go off automatically, and all you really need to know is it gives me a ton of damage, right? That, that's it. It literally goes off automatically. It has this uh, talent here where enchant weapon activates automatically. Now, I have teleport, which I'm sure you guys know what teleport is, right? You just click it, and you kind of go to the direction. It also gives me a lot of defensive buffs while I'm teleporting, um, so that's pretty nice. And later on, it'll also help generate ward. Ward is basically like energy shield in PoE. Except think of it more like the rage mechanic where it constantly runs out. The reason my ward is not running out right now is due to a stat called ward retention. Uh, ward retention is a stat you can find, uh, for example, on like, say, the passive tree and a few other mechanics. Um, all right, <clears throat> moving on a little more forward. Uh, my main skill is flame reef, where basically I press the button and it's kind of like wave of conviction. Uh, normally it is bright red, but because we are taking rolling thunder we are splitting the damage essentially half to lightning half to fire kind of cool it also changes how the uh skill looks okay so moving on a little more forward the character is slightly bugged right now because uh rhythm of fire which is what i was building around is is just botched uh but kind of in a good way you normally would gain stacks when you use this skill and then it would consume them at 12 stacks to do like a big one with extra width extra range, extra damage. Well, the bug currently is uh, you don't ever get stacks. You don't ever get the width bonus. You don't ever get the range bonus, but you always get the damage bonus. So, uh, you know, definitely a little bit stronger than it's supposed to be right now. But once that gets fixed, we'll kind of fix around with it. Um, the last skill that's important right now is Flame Ward. This last one is kind of like a filler, so I won't talk too much about it. And Flame Ward, essentially what it does is when I press it, I get 250% fire damage, but more so the skill kind of automatically goes off if I get stunned. Uh, and on top of that, I have double charges. So what this is, is when I press it, if you look at my ward, I get a big burst of ward. Uh, this is very good when we are just kind of like clearing or when a boss mechanic is going to occur and maybe we can't dodge it. We go ahead and slap on flame ward. Um, all right. With that being said, let's get started. My right click is just kind of like a mana generator. Realistically, I would recommend like firebrand um, or even just mana strike, but I'm just messing around with uh, with focus right now. All right. So I'm going to go jump into a map. So basically I click this and I don't know where I started. I started here and this is kind of like me selecting my rewards, right? So I want idols. Idols are like charms. If you've ever played Diablo 2, they kind of sit here. Give permanent bonuses to your character. So I'm going to click this 
Um, if you look at it on the right, it says enemies have increased crit chance, enemies have increased health. Um, so that's basically what's going to occur. And then um, I get increased rarity and experience, and then the reward are idols. So let's go ahead and jump into that. Let me just play some Diablo music to get the theme ready here. I like the music in this, but sometimes it's a bit inconsistent. Okay. Dude, what is going on? There's like no mobs. This character has like so much scaling to be done uh, because of basically when you convert the skill or split the scaling of the skill, you can gain benefit of a lot of extra passives. So think of like, you know, when you play Path of Exile, you kind of like scale one element unless you're going like Trinity or something, right? Ooh, Bastion Key. I think those are dungeons, which I don't know anything about yet. Um, well, in this one, there's like a lot of passives you can take advantage of. So for example, Flame Reeve is tagged as a fire skill. But when you give it the lightning augmentation, it becomes lightning and fire. Because it is lightning and fire, for example, if I open up my tree here, if you look at like Elementalist, um, Elementalist gives fire and lightning, so you gain full benefit from this instead of like a smaller version. This is not really a good example, I guess. Let me, let me not use that as an example. Let's use like infused weapon, for example. Fire damage for melee attacks and lightning damage uh, for melee attacks. So it would get the 16 and the 16. So that's a that's a much better example there. So while you're doing this like mapping style in PoE, and the density does vary from map to map. Some of them are significantly more dense than this. Notice on the right here, there's like this little bonus stability. That bonus stability is going to be used to eventually fight the big boss of this timeline. So think of this, this map being part of like a like a theme, right? I guess the theme is kind of like the terrain. And then as we go through more, um, we will build up more stability and eventually we will fight like a giga boss. And that boss has its own drop table. So think of like in PoE, you'd fight like Shaper or something or Elder uh, or even uh, like a Conqueror Guardian would maybe be a, a better uh, a better one. This character kind of reminds me of Righteous Fire, even though it's not. Uh, just because it has incredibly high sustain, right? It feels like it's a regeneration build uh, because of this ward gain. So as we are playing a Spellblade, one of the unique features of Spellblade is that whenever we spend mana, uh, if I click this here, mana spent on melee attack is converted to ward. So eventually later, what I'm going to try to do, right? At the moment, I'm like points into Heat Wave and Slash and Burn and Scorching Tide. I actually don't want these. What I want instead is to go down... Uh, arcane severance to get melee damage and point per spell damage which is kind of weird but this point here gives a huge multiplier but increases the mana cost and then flame caller makes it so it returns to you so i shoot it and then it would return right at the end and my assumption is it would double hit if i can manage the mp cost then i'm simply generating more ward which honestly is like really really awesome so let me go ahead and open up a portal and just leave here Okay, and then we get our reward, and this was basically, um, that right there was, was this, so that kind of looks exactly like this. And take those, I'll look at them later. And then this right here is kind of like my loot for the overall amount of mobs, oops a daisy, the overall amount of mobs that I have killed. Can I really not fucking fit this? Oh, it's because it's one of the, uh, there we go. So then that will also poop out some loot. Got some nice vacuum loot. All right, and that's pretty much it. I'm not going to look at that stuff. So essentially, the way I leveled this character at the beginning, right? And honestly, feel free to experiment however you want. Respec is very easy in Last Epoch. The only thing you really cannot respec is like, I am a Spellblade, so I cannot turn myself into a Sorcerer. You cannot respec this. Think of this as like your Ascendancy, right? Except you can't respec it. I could remove all the points out of here, but I cannot actually take out the Spellblade. Uh, I can dip this many points into Sorcerer, but then only Sork mains can actually go past this bar and end up getting these two skills, right? So <clears throat> at the beginning, the way I leveled is I pretty much started with Lightning Blast. It's the first skill you get, right? I believe this is the order of how you get your skills. I think I could be wrong here. Uh, with Lightning Blast, I kind of just used Arcing Power for Chain. It was pretty fun. Uh, and then I used the Fireball for Single Target. My first uh, specialization 
plus lightning blast. Specialization means you are opening it up to the skill tree. Um, moving down further, Mana Strike is when I really wanted to like actually start using it as my main skill because Mana Strike is kind of like how the Spellblade sort of plays out. So I immediately went into Mana Strike and specialized it when I got it. And I went into Mana Spark, which gives you essentially base damage. Um, all you have to do is get mana. So this ended up carrying me for quite a while. I went Mana Spark into Mana Storm. Uh, mana Storm costs 15 MP, but uh, Mana Strike re gives you 15 MP. So these basically all kind of synergize together. Uh, and I pretty much just spam that uh, basically until I was a Spellblade. Static gets really good later. Uh, it's a bit higher level, but it's super good because it just charges and you release the button. Um, naturally, I still had like my Flame Ward. I still had my Teleport and all of my other stuff. You know, I always encourage you guys to kind of figure out exactly what you want to do. It's a lot of fun in Last Epoch, right? You get a lot of flexibility. And then with my skill tree, you can kind of see this is sort of what I have. Although I was points into Scholar for that little bit of base damage. Um, it helped a little bit at the start. And then you can kind of see what I have now. But of course, you know, if you guys want to see a better, more accurate presentation of it, just come look at me on Twitch. You can find me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash pox. I'll be playing this game over probably the next week i'd say so you can kind of see my progress and figure out you know how we're scaling anyway that's pretty much about it hope you guys had a wonderful time hope you guys enjoyed yourselves if you like the video feel free, feel free to like share and subscribe uh and without it that being said see you guys all later so thanks for watching everybody